Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon the master of martyrs and peace be upon you and yours. Welcome to Shia Waves. I'm your anchor Ali Jassim here to present and replenish your minds with the latest Shia world news. And now with the headlines. Millions of Shiite pilgrims born to Imam Hussein Holy Shrine offering the rites of visitation on the day of Arafah. Bangladeshi minister sacked for anti-Hajj comments. Hajj selfie craze criticized by Muslim scholars. Millions of Shiite pilgrims are pouring into the Holy Shrine of Mount Hussein, peace be upon him, to offer the rites of visitation on the day of Arafah. Around 3 million Shiite pilgrims have arrived in the holy city of Karbala to offer the rites of visitation and to recite the special supplication of Mount Hussein, peace be upon him, on the day of Arafah inside his holy shrine, peace be upon him. Millions of pilgrims in Hajj have marked Eid Ladha at the desert of Mina. More than 2 million Muslims gathered at the desert of Mina, located 5 kilometers east of the holy city of Mecca, for a three-day spiritual journey. As part of the Hajj rituals, the pilgrims dressed in the same simple clothes have flocked to the desert to slaughter sheep or cattle to celebrate Eid al-Adha. They also performed rituals of the day of Arafah. At this annual ceremony, Muslim pilgrims have their hair shaved or cut after stoning a symbol of Satan. The day of Arafah is regarded as the essence of Hajj rituals. This day is the concluding event of the annual Islamic pilgrimage to Mecca. Enraged by its comments over Hajj and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his holy progeny, several lawyers have filed lawsuits to demand legal punishment for Bangladesh Telecom Minister, who was sacked two days ago from the cabinet. The sacked minister sparked anger across Bangladesh following his comments against Hajj, as he claimed that Hajj is a waste of manpower, and those who perform Hajj do not have any efficiency by spending a lot of money abroad. He also claimed that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his holy progeny, was worried about the Arab peoples as they were the robbers. Therefore, he added, Prophet Muhammad arranged Hajj as an economic development program for the Arabs. His anti-Islamic and blasphemous comment has triggered widespread anger from all the parties in. Iraqi forces backed by volunteers have taken control of most of the town of Dulu'iyah from the ISIL tech theory terrorists. A police officer in Dulu'iyah said 80% of the town is now fully under the control of pro-government forces. Over two dozen ISL terrorists, including two British nationals, were killed in the attack. Najaf Airport authorities announced the increase of the flights through its airport, pointing out the arrival of 4,200 passengers during the past week. Some sources expected that 200,000 passengers will come during the month of Muharram to visit the holy shrines in Karbala. At least three Pakistani Shiites were martyred and nine others injured on Thursday when a roadside bomb hit a passenger van near Gilgit town in northern Pakistan. A security official said the injured included five women, two men and three children, adding that all the passengers belong to the Shiite community. Many Muslim pilgrims at this year's Hajj have been snapping photos of themselves while on pilgrimage to the holy sites of Islam, and this is being greeted with disapproval by some clerics. Concerns were raised by Muslim scholars about the selfie craze, saying that the photos go against the spirit of Hajj, a Muslim scholar thinks that the selfies were a form of bragging, adding that the pilgrims in Masjid al-Haram taking selfies with the Kaaba in the background, and this selfie is then posted on Facebook, making it a social media event and ruining their hajj by humble bragging. Until relatively, recent camera phones were not allowed to be taken inside the holy mosques, but the rules have been relaxed, and so some say it will be hard to stop what has been described as a selfie fever. The first Quranic recitation competition for the Republic of Dagestan Shiite Muslims was held earlier this week. According to reports, 23 Shiites from different cities of the Republic, Dagestan is an independent region of Russia, located in the North Caucasus region. Some 90% of the Republic's population is Muslim. We have reached the end of our new show. Thank you all for joining in with us. And as always, remember our da'a to hasten the reappearance of our beloved Man Mahdi, peace be upon him. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.